Welcome to springtime in the foothills. Uh, cutoff low came through last night and dumped an additional nine inches or a fresh nine inches of snow here at Blanco Lirio Global World Headquarters at the 3,200 foot elevation. Hopefully this cutoff low is going to spin south and get out of here. Temperatures will warm up and we'll get rid of this snow pretty quick. But uh, in the mail today came the FAA General Aviation Survey. When you get these letters in the mail, sometimes you tend to freak out and think, oh no, here comes the FAA after my medical. But it says right on the letterhead, General Aviation Survey. And let me tell you why these things are so important. I used to kind of blow these things off thinking that, why does the government need to know what I'm doing with my airplane? It's my business. But this is how we answer the most often asked question on the Blanco Lirio channel. Are we crashing airplanes more frequently than normal? What is our current accident rate? And this is the primary key metric of how the FAA determines the accident rate. The number of accidents per 100,000 hours of flying time. We know what the number of accidents are each year, but what's difficult to figure out is how much is the general aviation fleet of aircraft flying every year. Now in this survey, they're going to ask you uh, to estimate how many it's, each survey is specific to each tail number aircraft that you own. It's an anonymous survey, and they're going to ask you how many hours you flew that aircraft last year. But they're also going to ask you questions like, uh, what state did you fly it in? Did you fly it in the state of Alaska? Alaska's got some different accident statistics because of the nature of the flying up there. And then they're going to ask you things about what type of flying. Was it just recreational flying, or did you use it for business or flight instruction? Uh, part 135. Did you rent it? Did you lease it? And then uh, what kind of flight plans did you file? Did you file VFR or IFR flight plans? Uh, how many landings did you do? What What's your aircraft equipped like? What type of fuel are you using? 100 low lead or what, what have you? Um, what's your fuel burn per hour? And what's the total lifetime? That's another great question is how old how old is the fleet of general aviation aircraft so they're going to ask you the lifetime airframe hours on your aircraft and then they're going to ask you about safety systems like avionics and uh, icing and anti-icing systems because when you go to things like uh, the the FAA aviation safety stand down was held recently here and when you watch these things, you see that uh, all the major players are there. And first up, usually, is the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board. They are the folks that can only make recommendations to the FAA. They can't make any rules or make any changes. They can only make recommendations based on their review of accidents. And so then the FAA, and some of those recommendations have been around for years. And then the FAA turns around and, and says, well, we can't get the money from Congress. Well, and who is Congress? That is ostensibly us, the representatives elected by us to represent us back up there on Capitol Hill. So hopefully we got folks that understand and know about aviation and general aviation elected there in Congress to to help fund the FAA at a reasonable level to keep aviation safe. So I'm going to go fill this thing out this year. You should too. Thanks so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. I got to go shovel some snow. See you here.